Hi everybody, welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon. We're back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Serax the Demon Slayer, oh, has been removed from the market. Uh, it did not sell very well. Uh, but we did manage to make some profit off it. The sales figures for this game are getting worse, therefore we have taken this game off the market. Uh, it seems that despite our best efforts to update it and uh, patch it and stuff, um, our publisher has decided, uh, Pandai, has decided to take Sarah Hacks the Demon Slayer off the market, leaving us with a hefty profit of 19,371 big ones. Uh, which is, uh, not the best, really. Uh, what's, uh, Ron Johnson doing right now? Nothing. Okay, and, uh, it looks like, um, Manolito, <laughs> almost forgot his name. Manolito is also doing nothing, but he could be doing some research on stuff, like a genre, like the RPG, would which would be nice, or we could research some topics or do some console research. There's all sorts of stuff that we can do here. Look at all of these topics. Holy crap. I mean, we can get cooking, cricket, crime, cyberpunk, dancing, dwarfs, economy, espionage. Like, there's so many things that we could do here. Farming, um, fish, fire department. I guess we want, like, city. We, we want to make a colonization. Would be Cities is good, a good one as well. We're gonna start working on cities because uh, we are because we're a Canadian company. We make more money off city building games. So uh, there we go. Ron Johnson. I don't know what he could actually do right now. I mean, I support. I suppose he could like maybe do some contract work or he could start developing a new engine. Uh, we can improve an old one, which is a good option as well. Uh, this new engine uh, would be optimized for. A certain genre, which is kind of good, actually. We could uh, make something uh, that's good for arcade games, for instance. Uh, features, we could add some four-color support, um, some ASCII tech support, and some PC speaker and sound. I mean, it is 1980, right? So it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's kind of good. Uh, we can take out a loan if we want, and we can uh, crucially sell our engine at a hefty price of 20 grand per use um, and we can do profit sharing on it as well which means that somebody can buy our engine use it license it uh, and if they make a really awesome game we get 10% of the profits that they make uh, which is pretty cool actually uh, so let's go for that should we do that we're gonna do uh, we're gonna call this one uh, the Sipsco slammer okay we're gonna call it the Sipsco slammer uh, and this is going to be our first ever engine. Ron Johnson himself is going to work on it. It's going to have um, basically nothing in it. But it is 1980. Uh, we're going to develop this for um, arcade machines. Because in the 80s, arcade machines were huge. And arcade type games were huge. Uh, actually, I think they were the only types of games at the time. Uh, so we're going to like stay with some realism there as well. And uh, let's go for it. As we're researching and stuff. We might as well. Uh, and then we can make a bit of money on the side, and then we can research some stuff. There's also a Mad Games convention that maybe we don't want to participate in. Because even for a small booth, it's a hundred grand that we just don't really have to spare at the moment. So we're just not going to participate whatsoever. How are we doing in the charts? All-time charts. Sarah Hacks the Demon Slayer is now 11th of, of all time, and has only sold 7,346 copies. Jesus Christ, that's pretty bad. Anyway... Off we go. So, um, man, the, the first video of this went out yesterday, and uh, it was a real mixed bag. A lot of people uh, liked it, but equally a lot of people did not like it. A lot of people could not stand the graphics, which is fair enough. I did sort of say that they're not the best. Um, and a lot of people did not like the name of the game either, <laughs> turns out, which is a pretty terrible name for a game. Look at this, Ron John's just going to the bathroom. Also, osmosing through the walls as well to go to the bathroom. Not even pulling his pants down to do the business as well. And crucially, you can highlight him and see what he's actually doing in here. Nice. Anyway, he's done. <laughs> oh, we got some new research. Video game console. Um, I mean, I agree. I agree with the with with the gripes, but at the same time, I think um, I think underneath the hood, I think that this is an interesting game, and I definitely want to see some of the stuff later on in the game if we can get there. Like for instance. I would love to build some of these offices, like console development, like production, uh, even a storeroom. Like customer support, we could have like a whole team of people in a call center. That'd be pretty fucking cool, no? Like, I just think that there's this game might have a lot to offer, but equally it could just turn out to be pretty bad. But we're going to stick with it for a bit, despite the fact that some people don't like it. 
um, and just see if it uh, if it gets better and uh, you know if I could just sort of scratch this itch. I sort of go through phases with games from time to time, right? Like uh, adventure games early in the year is, is a perfect ex example where I just played like three or four adventure games back to back. Um, but at the time, it was just like, that's all I wanted to do. So that's what I did. Uh, and after playing Game Dev Tycoon, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I, I could still go for that. And for me, it was like a toss up between playing this or playing Prison Architect again. Uh, because again, I'd played Prison Architect and I, I keep think coming back to it thinking I would love to make like a women's prison. So I was going to do it. And then I saw this on Steam and I was like, nah, I'll try this out and see how that goes. Um, so there you go. But, you know, women's prison could happen at some point as well. So don't be too disappointed because I know I just played Prison Architect, but a women's prison, come on. The potential is amazing, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we can now make sprites as well, which uh, would have been great to add to the engine. But um, luckily, we don't have to just make a new engine. We can just um, upgrade an old engine and add this kind of stuff to it. We've researched cities, which is really good. Uh, let's get uh, Manolito researching sprites. Uh, it's going to take some time, but once it's researched, we can then just sort of like add it to the engine. Uh, and hopefully people will buy the engine, and hopefully we will profit share off the engine like crazy. Um, some games are being released by other studios. I don't know if we should be too worried about that. We're, we're like fully committed here to everything. Like, can I... Can I actually like expand this research office? I wonder if I can without like making just a new office right next to it. It's gonna cost 17 grand and we can place the door. Ah, oh, it's gonna make another one. Okay, we now have two research offices. Uh, I don't know if that's a terrible thing actually. I don't know if it's a terrible thing because it means that we can research two things at once and not just uh, one thing very, very quick, right? Okay, great. We're gonna hire somebody else in then. We're gonna hire in another guy uh, who's gonna do some research on like uh, topics and stuff like that just so we can get a lot of stuff under our belt So that we can be a little bit more flexible when we want to develop like a new game or whatever All right, who are we gonna hire? We're gonna hire somebody who's really good at office work uh, And we're gonna have to hire somebody also where I can pronounce their name because Manolito is is probably at the at the line there like I think a couple more letters in that name and I wouldn't be able to pronounce it and it would frustrate me big time. We don't have an amazing pool of people here. It's got to be said. Who's good at office work? Bodo. All right, Bodo. It's like Bono, but it's Bodo Hydrich. Okay, Bodo, you're hired. We're going to hire you in. You're pretty good at game design as well, it turns out, and uh, office work as well. Not so good at programming graphics and music and sound, but that's fine. And he's got the will to work as well, and he only wants to be paid four grand a year, I think. So that's crazy. That's probably a month, realistically. Okay, there. Perfect. Botto and Manolito. We now have several employees. We can now build a staff room where you can place additional objects that re the staff require, such as like coffee machines and shit like that. All right. Get in there then, Botto. Research some new topics. We're going to get some... We want to make lots of building games, right? Because that's going to be like our thing. So what uh, what other stuff can we uh, build? Like a, like a building type game. Uh, we probably need the genre as well. Planets would be a really good one, like a building planets. All right, Botto is going to research the topic planets. Uh, looks like our engine is done as well. Oh, the Sipsco Slammer is ready to go. Now all we got to do is sit back, put our hands behind our head, and wait for the money to roll in. That's right, all those other studios are going to be like, these guys are at the forefront of technology. They got the best engine you've ever seen. We're going to use it to make some hit games. And then uh, we're going to profit off the back of that as well. It's going to be crazy. I mean, maybe may maybe having it sell for 20 grand is a bit steep, though. Oh, we've got the platformer genre now as well. All right, Ron, uh, you are going to develop... We're going to improve an old engine, the Sipsco Slammer. It costs 20,000 bucks and 10% profit sharing. It's good for arcade games. Uh, we want you... You know what? We're going to drop the cost. We're going to drop it to 15000 okay? Um, we're going to do like a deal for people. We have to add a new feature, of course. Yes, we have to add sprites. This is a feature and technology. We're adding sprites to the Sipsco Slammer Plus. Um, so this is going to be like our, our V2, right? And it's going to be cheaper to sell. And the profit sharing is still going to remain... You know what? We're going to up the profit share to 11%. Okay, it's going to make all the difference in the world, trust me. All right, and uh, we are going to research others. 
What's others? What's in here? Oh yeah, B plus games. That might be good. Uh, there's topics as well and genres. Um, let's get... Do we need platformer or RPG? We don't really actually. Uh, let's go into console research and see what we've got here. We've got like controllers, cartridges, cases, memory I guess, chipsets. It's like lots of stuff that you can be researching to add to a console which might be interesting. I think for now though, let's get some more um, topics. Predators, prison. Okay, a prison building game. We've all played a prison building game at some point in our lives, right? We just want to make sure that if we're going to like focus on building games, we're going to make like a new engine um, that is really good for that genre. And we're going to have a whole list of topics to back us up for that as well. And it's going to be really good. So far, not a single license has been issued for the Sipsco Slammer. And Botto is going to the bathroom uh, to celebrate, I guess. Now, I guess we can make the staff room now as well, so we might as well. We don't need more toilets, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna make the staff room kind of like here, I guess, because we need a hallway, but we might as well just have it come to here. Or do we need that space for something else, possibly? No, I think we're, we're, we're like at maximum capacity here. We're gonna spend 26 grand on this massive staff room for like three people. Um, but it's gonna be worth it, right? And we're gonna have the door right here so that when you're in here drinking coffee and stuff, you can come in and uh, you can run right across the hall and go to the bathroom as well. Because we all know. We've all had that. We've all had that, right? Before where it's like you, you just drink a lot of coffee and instantly you have to go to the bathroom. It happens from time to time. Um, staff room, what do we want in here? Do we want an arcade machine? I mean, we are a games development studio, so I think we do have to have a games machine in here for people to, um, to play while they're on a break. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, we're also going to need some sort of couch um, for people to sit on, uh, preferably with pillows. Okay, we're going to put this here. Nice. And uh, let's also have, what, like a, a fridge? Okay, we're going to have a fridge. Instead of having... Um, like a coke machine or a coffee machine or whatever. We're gonna have a fridge and it, people can bring in their own stuff, okay? That's better. It's gonna be better for their health and stuff as well. Perfect. Okay, we now have a staff room. Botto uh, remembered to flush this time, which is really good. Uh, he's currently researching planets. Uh, meanwhile, Manolito is researching prison. And Ron Johnson is um, adding a new feature to the Sipsco Slammer Plus. Hopefully, its new um, price will make it more sought after for people who would like to make arcade games. I guess we need to... So the trend currently is puzzle games and quiz show genres, which is, to me, crazy. And unpopular right now is Arcade Thieves. So the fact that arcade is unpopular right now might be why the engine is not selling. So hopefully that uh, trend uh, changes soon and then we're in a better position where we can sell the engine and make some money. Or, we're just gonna lose all of our money and that'll be that, we're dead. We're just gonna be dead in the water and then we don't have to play this game anymore. And then some people will be pretty happy, I guess. But maybe some people will not be. Anyway, I wanna get to the point where we have a server room personally. That's like the goal, have a big server room. Maybe like an MMO or something, that'd be pretty good. All right. So, the new and improved Sipsco Slam, there, straight away, 40 Realms has licensed our engine. Fantastic. We made some money off of that as well, and we've researched planets. We've got new genres, no we don't, uh, platformer and RPG are, are the same, but we have some new features that we can research. PC speaker music. Oh, it's only a few beeps heard in the game, but to a musical tune. Botto? is just gonna go take a break before he starts researching that. He's just finished researching planets and he's just decided, you know what? Like I just actually taxed my brain to the limit and I cannot handle it. So I'm gonna have to go, you know what? Let's go do some contract work with Ron Johnson, okay? He's gonna do a little bit of contract work. He's got, um, he's gonna do some gameplay testing. It's gonna take 18 weeks for him to do this. Um, but it's going to require, you know what, he's going to create some sound effects for a claim instead. I think that's going to be better. Uh, and it's going to, we're going to make 12,000 bucks off that if he's able to do it. Ron, do you think you're able to do this? Oh, no problem. Look at this. He's just slamming through it. 
He's got the tech points that he needs to create the sound effects for a claim and uh, win us some money, which is going to be really nice. I guess he could probably start working on a game pretty soon, but we don't have the right genres that we want. Oh, look at this. We have adventure games, the genre now that we can research. This is pretty good. Um, do we want some more topics? Do we want some others? I guess let's get the adventure game uh, unlocked, even though we're probably not really going to make many adventure games, but it'd be a good one to have, right? Now, adventure games were huge in the 80s and the 90s, so like, you know, maybe the game recognizes that. Or maybe not. Maybe the game just doesn't give a fuck, either way. In which case, we're going to make an adventure game and it's just going to flop terribly. Um, it would be nice if more people licensed our engine, aside from 4D Realms. It'd be interesting to see what 4D Realms are actually going to make with our engine, because we'll profit share off the back of that too. Alright, contract work has been completed, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we can do some more, I guess. Do some more contract work. Uh, 198 points, uh, but we'd only have 6 weeks to do it. Uh, 11 weeks to add copy protection. Uh, for 144 points for a claim again, uh, and we'd get paid nine grand. Sure. I mean, Ron Johnson can just do that with his eyes closed, no problem. What can we do here? Oh yeah, we can buy an engine, we can take games out, we can do publishing and stuff. We can do, oh, this is pretty good too. We can buy licenses when it's unlocked. So we can buy licenses for movies and stuff, which is gonna help our games sell more. Oh look, Ron's just like, before he's even started playing, you can hear the sound effects. He's just having a good old game. He's playing an arcade game. It's just, uh, you know, mid-contract. There's only 10 weeks left to deliver. He's just decided, you know what? I'm just going to go play Space Invaders for a bit. Just chill out a bit. You know, get get my head back uh, into the game. Get my head out of the clouds. And, uh, and see how it goes. I wonder if you can actually do anything. No, it's self explained You can't do anything with the toilet, it turns out. Okay, fine. All right, so we play the waiting game. We wait for PC speaker music to come online, and then we're going to add that. We're going to improve the engine. Oh, video game crash. The video games market has collapsed. In the next few months, sales of all games are enormously reduced. Hopefully, the market recovers soon. Oh, shit, that's no good for us at all. That's no good for our engine being licensed? Nothing. I wonder if people will just like maybe license the engine, start working on games but not release them straight away, wait for the market to pick up again and then, you know, sort of hit them hard with like some hot new release or something. God, who knows? Oh, here we go. The Mad Game Awards. The Hell got Best Soundtrack, Best Graphics, World of Mana, Studio of the Year, Tigerhead, Game of the Year, Do You Know? And Worst Game of the... What the fuck? What the fuck? We lost 2,500 fans because Sarah Hacks' Demon Slayer was worst game of the year? Fuck you, Mad Game Awards. It wasn't the worst. Come on. Okay, we've, we had five fans. We've lost them all. And we got an achievement called I'm the Worst. Great. I really feel great now. I'm, I'm feeling perfect. This, this is fantastic. Fucking... Whatever, Botto. You might as well just go and play games or whatever. Go to the toilet. We're, this company's going nowhere already. Look, it's the worst. Oh, Remedy has released the game Xenobreed. That's nice, actually. Um, they're not using our engine, so it's of no benefit to us whatsoever. Direct competition. Man Manalito is really struggling to unlock the adventure game genre. Like, look at how long it's taken it. Holy crap. PC speaker music, though, is almost done, so we can add that um, to our engine. There's probably no point in making a game right now because the whole market has crashed. Um, so fine. Let's go in, develop a new engine. We're going to improve our old engine, uh, the Sipsco Slammer Plus. You know what? We're going to reduce the price further, okay? Because maybe this is putting people off. And we're going to put the profit sharing back to 10% as well. Uh, but this time we're going to have PC speaker music um, as well. And this is going to be amazing. So this is the Sipsco Slammer Plus Plus. I can believe that. We can't change this. Uh, but we are going to sell our engine, do profit sharing. And Ron Johnson is going to start working on it straight away. The Sipsco Slammer Plus Plus. Now with PC speaker music. Which is going to be even better than just PC sound effects that went beep and bloop or whatever. Now we're going to be able to do oh, economic simulation. Now we're talking. Alright, now, now we are talking. Okay. We are going to get ec economic simulation. 
um, a genre. So if we ever want to make an epi e an economic an economic simulator, thanks to Botto, we're gonna be able to in about ten years time. I think we can like speed up time a little bit. Yeah, look, we can put it fast. Droika Games has released the game Wonderland. That's no of no use to us whatsoever. We got three guys in here, beavering away on stuff, and we're not making any money. We need to get to the point where uh, we can... Actually, what is this now? Puzzle quiz show. I don't think we have quiz show. We have puzzle, but we don't have quiz show. Maybe we should be thinking about getting quiz show unlocked after adventure game or economic simulation is done. Oh, look at that. We have a joystick driver now, which we can add to the Sipsco Slammer plus plus plus. It's pretty funny making an... Oh, this game is based on your engine. The developer has sent you a billing document for profit sharing. Minisoft, Mr. Do. Oh, look at that. Our profit share is 36 grand. Oh, man. That is great. Mr. Do used our engine. Northwood Studios has released the game Tycoon as well. Maybe that one's used our engine as well. That would be great, wouldn't it? All right, the Sipsco Slammer Plus Plus is now online and ready to go. All right, let us develop a game then uh, before we lose all of our money. We're going to do a game for retail. Target audience is going to be um, all ages. We are going to do a... Um, we can't do a builder game. So we're going to have to do... Fuck me. Okay, you know what? We're not going to do a game just yet, all right? We're going to wait until we can unlock a decent topic to do with puzzle. Like, because right now we want to get the trend. Puzzle quiz show. We need to get a puzzle quiz show game out the door um, and sort of do the thing with the trend. That would be very good. Uh, in the meantime, we'll do some contract work. We can do some game development contract work as well. Uh, if we want to, uh, we could do like the truth thief for infcoms or if we, want, we could do fortress of doom Which is a B retail arcade game uh, for EA We're actually called EA um, And this is for the PC Can we not do it? Maybe we don't have the thing that we need to do that. It's kind of annoying actually Can we just like sack some of these off Activision? I guess we don't have uh, a license or a dev kit for some of this stuff, so that's why we can't do it. Okay, fine. We'll just do some contract work in that case then. Uh, let us get something that we can definitely do. Uh, we could do some gameplay testing for 18 grand for Type 2. Want to try that? Sure. Okay. Fine, Ron. You do it. Gameplay testing over the course of 18 weeks. It looks like he's going to have no problem doing that. Lockstar Games has released the game Secret of the Sorcerer. Uh, hopefully they're using our engine for that. That'd be fantastic. And it looks like Adventure Game and Economic Simulator is... Oh, look. 40 Realms has just released Krillius. And 40 Realms have licensed our engine. So maybe we've got another paycheck, like, coming to us. What's this now? Skill, skill and dogs. Do we have dogs? All right. Well, that's what's trending now. And we might be able to get in on this trend. I'm pretty sure that we can make a skill game, right? Do we have the genre skill? I hope we do. My god. Bardo, you pipped him at the post. You researched your first genre. We should try to mix genres to create something new for the players. Subgenre is now available. Okay, great. Now, go to topics, please, Bardo, and research dogs, okay? We want a, a dog skill game, apparently. All right, where is it? Dogs. Devil. No, dinosaur. Dogs. All right. Get on it, Botto, as quickly as you can. All right, and Ron Johnson is uh, poised and ready to develop the game, I think. Can we do it? Select the topic, dogs, when we have it, yeah. Select main genre, skill. Okay, great. We have never made a skill game before, but that's what's popular right now. Skill and dogs. Puzzle and food games are not very popular right now. Uh, so it's worth noting. Okay, as soon as Manolito is done with adventure games, um, which is like gonna happen in in about two seconds. Great. He is going to start researching joystick driver for our next engine or our next improvement to our engine. And hopefully we got a bit of money coming in off of the uh, release of 40 Realms' game, whatever it was called. I can't even remember what it's called now. All right, we're really close with dogs. Well, I say close. We're not even halfway through, but we've sped up the game so that Botto here can get dogs researched, and then we can make a 
a dog skill game, which is apparently the trend right now. Everybody's crying out. Oh, look at this. New platform build, CB22. 40 Realms has released the game running as well, hopefully using our engine. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And then we'd have like two paychecks coming in uh, for profit sharing and stuff like that. That would be great. Man, licensing our engine is cheap as shit. Like 10 grand's nothing. Holy crap. All right, hopefully this trend stays. It looks like we've still got some time uh, for it to stay, so that's fine. And we're ready to go. All right, Ron Johnson, you can do it. We are going to make a dogs skill game. Okay. Uh, and we are going to use the Sipsco Slammer Plus Plus because it's our own engine. Uh, it's going, the target audience is going to be all ages, okay? Because it's a skill game. And we're going to call this one... Um, Dogtris, okay? Like Tetris, except for the shapes are made out of dogs, okay? And you have to arrange them into lines and stuff, because it's a skill game, right? So you have to arrange them into lines and get rid of stuff and whatever, and it's gonna be called Dogtris, and I think we're like kind of ready to go. We're gonna release this on the personal computer, because uh, that's all we have. We don't have any dev kits available yet. And we are going to not use copy protection. Uh, we don't have any fan letters, I don't think, because we have no fans. Uh, we don't have any completed game reports because I don't know why. All right. Game settings. These sliders, again, I have no idea. We're going to go casual, beginner friendly. We're going to go for more on the functions. Um, game length, I guess. And we want gameplay. And hopefully that's enough. We'll try it out anyway. Um, and I guess we want like more gameplay and more technology for this and then we want to like slide that back Okay, let's try that and see how it goes and we're gonna have English um, Do we want other languages? Do we want all of them? Do we just want English? You know what? I think that Germans are going to love this as well. So let's add some German language support because was it Ger no they like economic simulators what country was it that liked skill games was it korea i think it was korea you know okay we're gonna put a korean language pack in could this work we don't know all right four color support yeah pc speaker sound pc speaker music and sprites all right we're going for it it's gonna cost us fifty-eight thousand big ones Oh God, let's hope for the best here. Let us just hope for the best. Ron Johnson by himself is gonna work on this game. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I have no idea. It's now, Dogtris is 5% complete. Holy crap. Jesus Christ, Manolito, can you get back to work? And Botto, you're not even researching anything. What the hell? All right, can you do a new genre? No, we don't really want platformer or RPG. We don't really care about that right now. Um, the other things we can research is for 100 grand, which we can't really afford right now, because we're down to our last $361,202, which is terrible. Uh, we, let's get some new um, topics, okay? We're gonna want, for sure, an eroticism building game. No, we probably want like a, a farming building game. That could be pretty good, actually. Let's go for that. And then as soon as we can unlock the genre building, we're gonna be like, oh shit. There's a new engine available called the Artsys, which might be better than the Cisco Slammer Plus Plus. Because nobody's buying it right now. Let's be honest. Like, well, one person licensed it, and I don't even think they made a game with it in the end. Unless those games are just doing so exceptionally well that they're still on the market. Uh, Tigerhead Studios has released the game Super Mind Games, which is probably pretty good. It's probably going to be a skill game involving dogs, so maybe they've beat us. Uh, to that trend with Dogtris. But you never know. Dogtris could be, like, just the greatest game that anybody has ever played in their life. Who knows? Do we want to go to a Mad Games convention? Nah, we can't really afford it right now. Punji Software has released the game Silent Sun. Okay. Uh, I've sped the game up a little bit as well because I'm quite keen to get Dogtris out the door. Even though the games uh, industry has crashed and maybe has not recovered yet. But we're going to see. I think once we release another game, uh, we'll unlock some more stuff. Like, I think we'll be able to unlock copy t protection licenses and uh, maybe some other stuff as well. So we'll have to see. Uh, new research feature, scrolling. That could be useful for the engine as well. We'll have to add that in after the joystick driver is done. Uh, it looks like our next BMP Brothers has licensed our engine. The Sipsco Slammer. Fantastic. Holy 
shit, that is really good. Man, Dogtris is getting, like, lots of stuff into it. It's really good. Zyrtec has released the game Chrono. We haven't released any games for, like, a while now. Not since, um, Sarah Axe, which was worst game of the year last year. If you can believe that. All right. Get on it, Manolito. Scrolling. IDI Software has released the game Twins in the Star. Well, it's no Dogtris, that's for sure. Man, Dogtris is going to be crazy. All right, we don't have any other features to do, so let's just get on to more topics. We've got uh, game development, which might be good for a building game, but probably not. Let's make hell a, a building. You build hell. We've got scripted AI as a new feature we can add to the engine as well. And video game console handheld case gen 1 if we want to make our own handhelds. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to do the console thing. Like, I think that'd be pretty good. We could make, like, the very first Game Boy and we could call it, like, uh, something different. Like, we could call it, like, the Ron, the Ron guy or something. Or the, you know, Game Boy. Who came up with that name? Game Boy. I, it's, it's ridiculous. It is the most ridiculous name ever. But, man, it was so popular. I'm pretty sure the original Game Boy is still, like, the highest selling uh, console or handheld of all time. Like, it's insane how many of those sold. Oh, we got the sports genre, which is pretty good. And Dogtris is complete. The work on this game have been completed. You can release your game now. If you'd like to continue, yeah, no. You know what? Dogtris is ready to go. It's ready to go. Look at that. We're going to find a publisher who's good for skill games. Uh, it looks like we don't have any. It looks like it's all arcade games. Uh, so you know what? We're going to stick with Pandai. We might as well. Uh, they're the best of the bunch, in my opinion. Uh, but they're the most expensive of the bunch as well, uh, it turns out. But anyway, Pandai, we're going with you again. Dogs, personal computer, and skill all gained. Uh, look at that. Games that have the same genre already on the market, but games that have the same theme, none. We've done it. It's trending right now. Skill and dogs. We've done it. We released our second game. We can now buy dev kits to develop games for other platforms. This is good. To increase your sales, you should develop games from multiple platforms. Two platforms now available. Great. Okay, how did we do? Dogtris has done... Wow, really bad. I mean, it got 32%. 33%. Okay, the graphics look pretty good. A little polish can go a long way. The sound falls flat. There's been a lot better. The controls are just a little too complicated. However, the game is playable. The game has strong gameplay weaknesses. They should really spend more time on this. This game is a train wreck. It's not even worth a look. Damn it! That is scathing! Panda is gonna be so pissed. All right, Ron. Anyway, we're gonna have to get uh, a patch out there for Dogtris because it's got five bugs straight away. So at least if we can fix the bugs, people will be happy and should be good. All right, they've launched a campaign for Dogtris anyway. Looks like we sold 715 copies in its first week, which is pretty bad. I mean, it could have been a lot more, but at the same time, what the hell can we do? Whoa, look at that. The campaign is like, just pumped it up. It's got some hype. It's been on the market for two weeks. All time, we've sold 2,844 copies. We've gained no fans off the back of this as well, which is not the best. Uh, we have some new features to research. Scripted AI for the next engine iteration, which is going to be pretty good. And you know what? Botto, get on it, okay? We're going to make a handheld. All right, it's going to cost us way too. We can't do it, okay? Botto, you know what? I, I take it back. We can't. We're going to research some topics because they're nice and cheap. All right. We're going to have a hospital building game as well at some point for sure. New genre strategy. All right, well, so we're just waiting for... Oh, look at that. The handheld cartridge has come out as well. It's pretty cool, actually. I like how there's, like, all the different things. Oh, look. Solar Craft by 40 Realms. Hopefully using our engine. That would be great. Uh, do we want to release, like, an update for Dogtris? Yeah, I think we probably do, actually. Uh, what was really bad? The sounds fell flat, and uh, the gameplay was really bad, too, right? So, um, I guess we want to add some, like, new game modes. Okay. Fine, Ron. Work on a small content update patch for Dogtris, and hopefully we'll sell some more copies. I mean, it's not doing too bad. It's, like, it's, not, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible at the same time. I mean, it is terrible. Let's face it. 32... Oh, look! We've done it again! This game is based on your engine! The developer sent you a billing document for profit sharing! Repelpa the Rapper! <laughs> By Kemco! Oh my god, using the Sipsco Slam Plus Plus! We got 21 grand for that! Nice! Oh man, that is nice. 
It's so nice to know that our engine was used for such a good thing as well. Repelletra the Rapper. It's like some sort of Indian thing. Oh my god, banking crisis. 200% interest. There's a global banking crisis. All banks are now demanding much higher interest rates on loans. Okay, I don't think we have a loan right now, so we should be good. Man, what a busy day at Sipsco Entertainment uh, Limited. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff available to us now. Uh, we're probably going to start working on a new engine uh, pretty soon because we have a whole bunch of new features to add to it and hopefully we can make some money off of it. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Botto? He made a mistake. Or was that uh, Manolito saying, uh-oh, because he's got to go to the toilet? Hard to tell. Anyway, we'll be back next time for more of this. Um, we are rapidly losing money, so if we don't turn things around quick, uh, this could be a very short series, but hopefully we can um, find some sort of uh, golden ticket. Blizzard Entertainment has released the game Galioth. Nice. Great. Um, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.